Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain the use of a geometric compass. In fact, very often we call them a pair of compasses simply because they have two legs, just like a pair of trousers, and it distinguishes them from the other use of the word compass, which is a thing for measuring direction, as you know. So, the pair of compasses, the old type, has a fixed top with two legs, and the angle between the legs can be changed, and we can... Uh, change the distance between the sharp point here and the pen or pencil here. This is the more, most conventional type. There's also a type which has a fixed point, which is simply a rotating piece of plastic, and another piece of plastic slides in a groove and can be fixed, and you put the pencil point through it, holding that you rotate the pencil round. The final version is the very simple one. When you want to draw large circles, etc., you have a drawing pin, a piece of string, and a pencil, and that is exactly the same device. So, how does it work, and what do we need it for? Well, first of all, the sharp point is fixed. When you create a distance here, measure it with a ruler, you can then fix your point and with the pen part, you will create a circle, an arc, which is exactly the same distance from this point all the time, from this fixed point. So that is the purpose of the compass. This is exactly the same. The fixed point would be put there. The pencil point is there. It will create exactly the same arc. So will this device. So the purpose of the compass is to create arcs, and obviously if we wish to find something which is a certain distance from two points, the same distance from two points, then we just do two arcs, one from this point, call it point A, and the other from the point, call it point B, we describe another arc, and we know where they cross is the point which is at those distances from each of those points. So that is the main use of the geometric compass and the different types that you will find.